Hi guys, thanks so much for stopping by the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you components for adversary colored combat helmets. These were found by Unfazed Gaming. I'll link him in the description. He does a lot of male outfit components, so make sure you check him out. And as always, these will only work with a component transfer glitch. You can find the most recent version of a component transfer glitch linked in, in the description. There's a playlist that will feature all of the ones that are working on my channel. You can also find components find component list on my website xtiffy.com in the description and then for this video we're going to be doing four different outfits one is going to be a merge three are just going to be components to show you the hats or the helmets and i will link all the individual components in the description as well so we are getting these components from flight helmets these are the ones that you cannot put on when you go to the flight helmet section unless you're wearing a flight suit so you do need to make sure that you purchase a flight suit first to be able to buy these helmets and then i'm going to show you also how to glitch them on to the outfits that we are putting together here just using the telescope in case you were wondering so i'm going to save four or five outfit slots on my male character when I'm putting together these components. And then one slot I'm just gonna save with the flight suit initially, that way it's easy to get these helmets on after they're purchased. So we're purchasing the first four on the list. There's gonna be the yellow and black, there's going to be a shark one, there's also going to be the leopard one, and then the tiger striped one. So it's the first four that you see here on the list. We're gonna get pink adversary camo, we're going to get purple adversary camo, green adversary camo and then orange adversary camo and the outfits that I'm going to be putting together here I'm just going to be showing you like a matching adversary shirt that's camo as well and I did kind of screw up on the components a little bit so I'll show you what I'm putting together here it'll be linked in the description or shown in the description all the individual components for these outfits but then I'm also going to leave a note in there to tell you the right color of joggers because I didn't want to refilm this it's no big deal they weren't outfits I was saving or sharing anyway so it doesn't really matter so the first outfit we're actually going to be doing a merge outfit with that pink helmet and then the other three I'm just going to be showing you the purple helmet with a purple top a green helmet with the green top and then an orange helmet with the orange top as well the glasses you also see here I guess my component list is extremely wrong so there are some adversary colored shooter glasses that the urban or the gray or the pink ski glasses are on male turn into for the female um, I'm gonna read you those go through the list I'll update those in the description as well when I do have the accurate ones but if you are wanting to wear like checkered glasses with this or just any glasses and you want to transfer this over from your male to your female character you can just check the component list for updated components or any glasses I'm just showing you that you can glitch on glasses with these flight helmets as well so you can find all of those in the description for each individual outfit here but what we're going to do to transfer over the flight helmet to these outfits is we're just going to use the telescope glitch so you need to make sure you're wearing that flight suit helmet or that flight outfit that's why i suggested to save it initially you're going to run up to the telescope hold right on your d-pad till you stop but not look through it and then select that saved outfit you wanted to transfer the helmet over to and then save it in your closet you can do this in your apartment your ceo building or at the beach for telescopes and I'm just going to run through and show you all of the different outfits that we're putting together here. So the yellow and black is going to equal the pink um, combat helmet. And then if you want it now to do the purple, we're going to go down, select that flight suit outfit again, go to hats, go to flight helmets, and then put on now the shark flight helmet. And we're going to do the telescope glitch again. So I'll run through it one more time, then I'm just going to speed it up next. But you basically put it on, you run at the telescope, hold right on your D-pad until you stop but not look through it. And you can see the helmet or hat, whatever you're wearing, does glitch off when this works. Open up your interaction menu, go to style, and then now select the outfit you wanted to put that on. So we're selecting the outfit with the purple top. And then you can save it. I want to call out here and I'll show you more of why I'm saying this and why we're going to do something different next. This is also going to glitch the flight tube onto your outfit. Um, it doesn't remove if you go to add a chain or change something about the outfit or whatever you know you might do. It doesn't actually remove just the flight tube. It's going to remove the helmet as well. So the flight tube turns into a platinum LC necklace on the female I do believe which you can take off normally when you're back on your female care. Character. but if you're wanting to just glitch the helmet onto an outfit say you have like a checkered item on with it 
or something on the on the outfit you don't want to lose like if you are wearing like the glasses that actually match that are pink purple green or orange and you don't want to lose them when you're doing this or if you even have like a merge necklace on an outfit and you don't want to glitch this hat or helmet on because it'll mess up that merge necklace or take it off or in this case i'm going to be showing you some black headphones um on the outfit that we're merging together if i were to just merge the flight helmet and the flight tube it would remove the component for the black headphones and i would not be able to then put the necklace back on because it'll also remove the helmet that's really confusing i'm going to show you what i mean here in just a second but i'm going to show you how i'm going to do this so with that outfit in slot number five that we have with the flight suit we're just going to make a basic outfit that only has really components on it for the pink um, combat helmet and then just other random stuff that you're going to see here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to the outfit that i initially had saved with the pink flight helmet and like i said i wanted to also wear black headphones with this but it glitched away when i added the helmet to it so I'm going to remove the flight helmet from this outfit slot number one for the pink helmet, resave that over it with the platinum rope chain for the black headphones, and then on the outfit I have a named five flight. I'm going to change this completely to just have the component for the pink helmet, and then just normal components that aren't merged, that aren't invisible, that aren't things that are going to go away. That way I can use the telescope glitch again when I'm on my female to then transfer that helmet over to that saved outfit. So I'm just going to keep on the components for pink joggers. I'm going to keep on any random necklace component here for the um, black headphones, as you can see, put on a white tank top. I'm going to remove the merge shoes and the merge gloves. That way this outfit shows up in free mode. There's nothing fancy I have to do here. And then again, like I said, I can use the telescope glitch now to move over the helmet that I'm going to be putting on here to my female outfit on my female character once I've done the transfer. So I essentially have five outfits saved here. I'm going to do the telescope glitch one more time to glitch on the component for the pink combat helmet onto this outfit. And then I'm going to show you just briefly again how each outfit looks before we do a component transfer glitch. I want to remind you again to please drop down the description to look at each individual outfit component. The reason I don't go through them in the video is because I think it's a good idea to pause to look at the outfit and then drop down the description to see what the actual components are. That way you have that information. It's really hard to just show a, a outfit component and then not even tell you what it is and you take a guess it's also sometimes hard to just list it and then you're like okay but maybe it, it's not listed right something's spelled wrong you can't find it you're confused which is why i try to do both so i know some of you might not like that but i think it's more important to do that to give you examples of what the components are so again i'm saving this on the slot number five that had flight so the first outfit is going to be my pink outfit i'm going to have um, armor on there a merge top a component for black headphones pink joggers i'm going to have merge shoes and merge gloves second outfit slot is going to feature the top that i'm going to merge together with that armor and then when we get back on female we'll save some pink gloves and pink deadline shoes and slot number three to then make that merge outfit the outfit slot for purple is going to have purple combat top, purple joggers, black skate shoes, and then the purple helmet. Green, same, but all green. And then orange is where I screwed up. I did not change the short components to equal the orange joggers, but everything else is the same. You'll have an orange combat helmet, you'll have the orange top, and then I will leave the actual orange jogger component in the description as well as the purple one that you see in the video. But again, you can put any pants component with this. You can just transfer a component on a random save outfit just to get the helmet but when you're back on your female character after doing a component transfer glitch linked in the description I suggest always going to the clothing store and making sure you save your current outfit if you're like me you keep one outfit when you're doing this glitch that way it's something cool this isn't something I can recreate now so I'll save this on my last slot and then I'm gonna scroll through what you can see here and we're gonna set up the outfits to merge so you see I have purple then I have green, and then we're going to get down to orange, which you can see I messed up on the orange joggers, but you can see I do have the combat helmets that are adversary color. The reason I chose the crop tops or the crop tanks, crop t-shirts to go with them is just because they match, just to give you an example of something that these helmets will definitely match. And then you can see here I do have the outfit that has the white tank top and that chain, the pink joggers, and then the pink flight suit helmet, or sorry, the combat helmet. So that's what I'm going to be transferring over to my merged outfit once I do get it merged. 
changed. But as I said, we're putting together some pink gloves and then some pink deadline shoes. So if you haven't done this before, when you're merging gloves and shoes at the same time, for male or female, if you've got that merge component set up, there is a very easy way to do this. So you need to purchase a deadline outfit, which you can unlock that option to actually wear deadline outfits by completing a job of deadline. You need to save that in the slot either before or after, depending on which way you're merging. In this case, we're putting it in slot number three. And then you also need to purchase and put on one of those bodysuits. Do not save this outfit. What you're going to do now is head to a telescope, and we're going to be doing essentially the same telescope glitch that you've been seeing me do the entire video. You're going to run at the telescope, hold right on your D-pad until you stop and not look through it, and then we are going to select that saved deadline outfit. When you close out of the interaction menu and walk away, you will be able to see kind of the mask glitch through here at the bottom, and you need to change your top first, only your top. So you need to go down, I suggest just going straight to racing jerseys and selecting now that racing jersey that had the pink gloves that you're going to be merging onto that pink outfit. So then you can save this and that slot that you had the deadline outfit saved on and you now have the pink gloves and the pink deadline shoes saved together to be able to merge. So then you need to open up and start a Rockstar Created Versus job called Crooked Cop. You're going to set that to player owned clothing and then you do need to invite at least one person to complete this job with you. I usually just turn on matchmaking, I auto invite, skilled match, uh, all from current session, whatever it might be. And then you can hit confirm settings on this. And then we are going to load into Crooked Cop and I'm going to show you how to merge together this outfit. So we are merging outfit slot three into two into one. So we're gonna scroll over to outfit slot three that had the gloves and the shoes, merge that into the outfit in slot number two to merge it onto this top and the joggers, and then scroll over to slot number one to merge all of this onto the component for the black headphones and then the black armor. And then ignore these glasses. Like I said, the components are wrong on the list. I need to update them. I'm not really sure what happened. Probably just an error on my part. But you will hit ready to play, wait for the job to load up, and then you will have your merged outfit together. So what you need to do is go to your interaction menu, go to style, accessories, and gear. You can scroll right once for a rebreather. If you're wearing a hat, like if you were transferring the combat helmets onto this or the low beanies, you would scroll left once for an earpiece. Either one of those work, and then you can exit your interaction menu and then quit the job through your phone. You will now load back into a GT online session with your merged outfit and you do need to save it. So there's one more step to complete in order to get this full outfit together to actually show you the outfit with the pink combat helmet. You need to do the same telescope glitch I've showed you a billion times in this video. So select the outfit that has the helmet, run at the telescope, hold right on your D-pad to stop but not look through it, open up your interaction menu, go to style and select that outfit we just saved, that merged outfit, and then you can exit the interaction menu and then head to your closet, everything is merged together now here, and then save it. If you're wanting to also add a rebreather with this or a mask, you can do it at this stage too. So obviously you can't select this hat or helmet through your closet, through your interaction menu. You can only transfer it using the telescope. But if you want it to then put on a mask or put on a rebreather, whatever it might be, select that rebreather, run to the telescope, hold right in a D-pad, stop but not look through it, and then select that saved outfit again with the helmet. And you'll see here that the combat helmet, the rebreather, and those glasses do glitch through together. So I wish that the pink glasses did save. It was just gonna be something cool and special to show you. They're actually red glasses, which is how I know I did something wrong um, or save something incorrectly on the component list. So I will again recheck those at some point today when I get back online and then update the component list. And I'll also update them in the description or a pinned comment, just depending on which I decide to do. So thank you so much for stopping by the channel. I hope you guys like this outfit. It's just something different. I really love uploading outfits for adversary colored items. There are so many options to go through now. Just so many different things you can do and they look modded and they're cool and it's not something you can buy or even purchase. So that's what makes them extra special. Thanks again to Unfaze and I'll see you guys soon with more glitch videos.